Oh, happy day! Oberon is back again! Soloing! Slime Rancher! Ah, uh, this game is so cute. It makes me so happy. And it lets me just ramble on about Besom. Which, alright, let's be fair. Neptune, if he was not at Denkai Khan, would totally let me ramble on about Besom and even cut in interesting tidbits of our plays, uh, of our playthroughs together. But, uh... I don't know. Feels nice to just kind of vamp. All right, get this rooster back where he goes. This is your pen, rooster. Say hello to these hens. All right. Pogo, 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 bounce. Pogo through. Just gonna. that in there for now. Oh. There we go. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to hear things like, well, Oberon, why would you go through all of that? Why? Why, why are you doing this? Why go through all of this effort for a system that clearly has so many issues that you've revamped every aspect of it. Like, not not a one is left untouched. And the answer is, once you get there, once you get to where you have an effaced rule system that you're able to kind of run with in the background as the DM, you can do a lot of interesting stuff with any gaming resource you buy. Here's Besom's strength. Easy conversion once you know the system. And it's not perfect conversion. They definitely, anything you convert becomes the anime version of whatever it was. You cannot avoid that. That's just the flavor you're shackled to. Um, but, once you get there, once you're at the, yeah, I'm on the fly making good decisions about what random things my players have come up with to, you know, as disparate players wanting to tell different stories, I, I'm, I've taken those characters, I've processed them all into something that makes sense, plays well, and is good and fun to play. Uh, for them, then you can start just doing kind of the same with any wacky thing you come across that just seems really neat. I have gone so far as to Frankenstein a game world together. And, like, I'm not... I, I'm almost literally talking Frankensteining in that I took uh, Deadlands, which, if you don't know what Deadlands is, look into it. The original version was a system that used a deck of cards rather than a uh, pile of dice. It is very flavorful. It is very interesting. The just the lore of the world is deep, enthralling, and everything is rife with consequence and just a little horror. It's great. I love it. So I took that system, or I took that setting, rolled it into the Besom system, and, and it's set in fake United States of America. So, you know, there's my map, fake United States of America, great, cool, fun, we're really looking at the West. And then I was like, but, but overseas though, overseas, I'ma just put Rokugan from L5R. It sounds stupid, it sounds crazy, but Rokugan from L5R was a very political, nuanced system, a very, uh... A very quickly over system, I might add, too. Uh, you, you, 
you just die if swords come out. That that is L5R. Swords come out and you dead. There we go. But it did well pairing it with the kind of existential horror of uh, Deadlands. They, they really had a good hybridization going on. And it really made a very interesting game. And I was able to really quickly just look at any given thing in the rule book, kind of write out what it's supposed to be. Oh. 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 I can't get through there. Right. But yeah, I could kind of look through the rule book and the game setting of any of those. Ah! Figure out what was supposed to be going down on, write them as abilities or attributes in that effaced system, and then just use the besom rules to meet out the results. Because there was enough in there, there's enough of that covering of all the basics in there that nothing really broke the system. There's... Yeah, there's supposed to be hard absolutes in both games. Like, you don't just roll up and fight a dragon in L5R. They are sacred creatures and gods unlike anything you have experienced. If you see a dragon, you do what it asks you to, and you leave. Um, very politely, I might add. And I'm not talking the dragon clan of samurai, I'm talking actual fucking dragons there. They, they don't joke. So there's supposed to be things that are absolute like that. And, uh, much, much the same, the Reckoners in, uh, what is it, in, uh, Deadlands. They're just, they are catastrophic forces of na nature. You are not, you're not going to change those, and Besom doesn't really have a thing for that, but it's not that hard to have a thing for that. Like, really, there is no I'm immune but in Besom. You could just say they're immune and use plot power, I guess, but you could just give them, like, ridiculous re resistance until specific circumstances are met. So it became very easy to hybrid almost anything you come across. Just, oh, I want that Star Wars character in my game. Well, what what's their stat block look like? Okay. You can flip it around in a couple of minutes at most, because you're not worrying about how the rules translate until the rules matter, and you give a sense of what that scale should be. But you don't have to actually make the hard decision until it's like... Until you're looking at something and going, reasonably, does this work? Should this character be able to do this thing with these circumstances? I don't know. It, it was always solid. What am I trying to do here? Oh, I should probably go... find more keys, I guess? Is there that locked door to the left? Now, let's explore this island over here more. But, like, the... Yeah, the real strength is that, and once you know the system, just... Like, I have made things combat speed. No lie. Just shat out their stats and been about where it needs to be and been right and had it be, still be a fun and engaging 
experience rather than, uh, you know, flipping through books rapidly, which is the other option. Grab something from a DMG or something. Like, I, I've had it turn out better when I've just shat out something randomly because I was a bad DM and the characters uh, definitely were going to get to that boss fight that I didn't consider in Reach. Now, now my problem's on the other side. Now when I run, I, I estimate a campaign uh, or an episode's worth of meeting being three hours and usually get it done in nine. So uh, maybe, maybe should scale back the other way, but... It, it's so easy and so convenient once you've got it down and once you've played with it in these ways that it's just like, yeah, sure, I'm running a Windows emulator on, on Linux, so to speak, like with Besom being your Linux and whatever other world you're working in being work other worlds you're working with being uh you know windows 10 or android whatever you're trying to end with. oh i need explosive ports right i see where i can get explosive ports no don't blow up the chicken it's supposed to be for you to eat He's so hungry, look at that. Here you go, buddy. Oh, they really like the... ...briar hats. any world that you want into any game that you want. It's, uh, it's pretty solid, and the setup is not... The setup is more thinking about what you want to do and why than thinking about the stats of the thing that you're trying to provide a good uh, challenge for. Being unique about you know what the s either what the setting of the monsters is, or what the or, or what their immunities are, or what circumstances they work well in becomes a more uh, rewarding experience as a setup time. And sometimes you can just have that "Hey, cool, it's that thing" moment, which is always great. Ball of yarn? You get a cat! Okay, they did not seem interested in the ball of yarn. Got it. I disappoint. Why am I coming here again? Well, I do want to get some more honey slimes. They were in this area, right? Oh, oh, shnikes.
Uh huh. Mint mango. Don't mind if I do. Okay. This has been a fun experience. I think next time on Oberon Solo's Slime Rancher, I'm gonna go a little further down this hole. Not the way you think. We are. It's not gonna just. Work. Hybridization. I think it's gonna be talking about what the game is. Next time on Oakland Solos uh, Slime Rancher, we talk death and retirement. The wind howled at the washboard, sleeping underneath the moon. Our plan was that Jennifer Briar Patch will love us.